Hey, Big Rich here. Another review. I'm going to be reviewing the Benro tripod. It's a model A1690T, so it says on the leg. So I bought this tripod to actually be my portable tripod, take on vacations, um, take it on, on flights. It's, it's actually fairly small. It's got a five section leg that obviously uses the twist locks to, to undo. Doesn't go real tall, but you know it's a fairly sturdy tripod for you know my my cameras again getting fairly expensive. The um, it's got several features in it that I like. So the twist lock legs, right? That that was one thing. <clears throat> the legs actually are pretty rigid and solid, and they actually open up. So you can imagine, right? You can take all three legs. Let's take this shaft up and have the tripod sit fairly low to the ground. The bottom piece unscrews with the hook and they have a tall shaft. A little crooked right now, but I think that's because I'm off the table. And they have a short shaft, right? So, um, so you can lower this thing and have the camera be only this high off the ground versus that high off the ground if you want a low perspective and a low profile on the, the tripod. So I thought that was a nice feature on it. The legs are pretty stiff here when you fold them, which is, I think, good. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting like this. Big Rich has not been drinking today, but must be my table that's a little bit crooked. I'll have to work on that one. Anyways, continuing up with the tripod here. So, pr pretty solid legs. Um, feels really good. The bottom has a little hook. Again, this un piece, piece unscrews to pull the shaft out, but it also has a, an attachment to hang a bag, right? So your camera bag or some weights to really lock the camera down and have it be pulled down to the ground and solid. Um, so some of the details on the Benro tripod. Again, it's got a removable plate, double release lever on it, and the plate drops out, snaps back in, holds it pretty durable. I'm pretty happy with that, pretty tight. It does have a spirit level, so when you make the plate horizontal, you can level everything out in the camera and get it close to level. So again, a nice little feature. The ball itself is not the biggest in the world, but not so bad with the thumb screw to really clamp it fairly tight and hold it in place. Again, it's got dual portrait mode slots, which is convenient. And again, you could, if you wanted to, use the head as a pan head a little bit, although it's not really designed that way. And when you loosen the pan head, it loosens everything. Um, and again, this thing unscrews, so if you wanted to put a different head on it, 3 8 inch standard right head um, goes on top of it, you could put the head on there. So, um, all in all, a pretty good little tripod for travel. And again, you know, it came with the, the three feet and wrenches to tighten everything and loosen it up. And it comes with a short stem instead of a long stem. So if you want to make the feet really wide, you can put the short stem down through the metal and lower the camera down to the ground. So um, it also came with, again, like I said, an, I think a pretty nice bag. It's a, a hair small. It's tough to get the tripod back to closed up correctly and, and get it in here. But again, it's what you want if you're going to travel, right? You want a, a small case for traveling. And then they actually also gave some spiked feet. Um, so you can unscrew the rubber feet on the bottom and put the spiked feet on depending on the surface and, and how you want to um, have your tripod sit. So I think all in all, it's a pretty good travel tripod. I've taken it around and I'm really happy with the, the use so far. So get yourself a small travel tripod, get a nice big heavy duty one for maybe not so much traveling and uh, keep your camera gear safe and secure. That's The Sitch with Big Rich. Make sure to subscribe and watch my other videos.